What up YouTube? Guess what? I'm at a 2015 F09. Sorry, F07. Man, I screwed that up. This thing is fucking crazy. It's got a uh, a Perkovic exhaust on it. Fucking so much power. I'm in second gear and this thing just wanna fucking rock it off, man. Holy shit. It's fucking ridiculous, this thing. It's a freaking monster, guys, I'm telling you. I'm at uh, Oakville. This thing got so much torque. <laughs> so much torque. Holy shit, I just want to let loose. It's a freaking beast. For what should be a tiny little motor, it does pretty well. Oh yeah. It's a monster. I'm looking at getting the F09 instead of this, but I think this is perfect. I've ridden them both. I don't, I'd rather have one of these. Yeah. Uh, the nines are fun, don't get me wrong, but it always feels like it's trying to kill you. The nine? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is great, man. That exhaust. Holy shit. ZX14. This fucking thing is a fucking monster. They were saying uh, the FZ09 here with all the, the mods that's on it, it will uh, destroy the R6. Holy fuck! 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 This thing is fucking good. It's got a little windscreen over here. See, I'm in second gear. I don't even need third gear right now. Man, this thing is a fucking monster. I'm looking to even get one of these instead of Super Sport because this thing is fucking amazing. This thing is a powerhouse. I'm not even joking, you guys. This thing is a fucking powerhouse. Holy shit. Man, oh man. Okay, seat in position. My legs aren't that comfortable, to be honest with you. It's, I'm not 100% comfortable on the, the leg position when I'm like to the tank. On my tippy toes, ah, it's kind of okay. It could have been better. I don't know if it could have been higher or maybe the foot peg can be lowered a bit. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm not that big of a fan of the way the seating position is on it. I feel like I'm sitting over the bike. Oh man, I love that exhaust. Oh, I think I just came in my pants guys, I'm not even joking you. <laughs> oh shit, this thing is fucking sexy man. I think my girlfriend has some competition, she has to step her game up. Yep, she does have to step her game up. Sorry, babe. <laughs> yeah, but this thing is really sexy. It's got a lot of uh, aftermarket parts on here. Yeah, it's got a, a few upgrades and whatnot. Oh man, the downshift is fucking just propelled you forward. Yeah, it's uh. That's good. I love it. I can see why guy buys, guys buy these bikes instead of uh, instead of super sports because you can have the same amount of fun on these bikes as the super sport. No doubt. Holy fuck! The front wheel just got off the ground, guys. Holy.
holy fuck, it just want a wheelie. Holy fuck. This thing is screaming for wheelie, man. It's just screaming. If you don't know what you're doing, it'll put you on your ass in two seconds. Flat. Holy shit. Fucking hell. It's quick. Fuck, it's quick. I fucking cranked the throttle. The front wheel got off the ground like in two... Holy motherfucking, I'm lost for words right now. I'm lost for words for this bike. I fell in love when I lost words. How about that? This thing is a monster. <laughs> Fucking hell. Holy fuck! It's a fucking monster, this fucking beast. Man! So, the downshift on the bike is, uh, it's a bit grabby. Like if you hit it in a lower gear, let the clutch out, it'll throw you forward if you're not prepared for it. So that's a thing to uh, keep in mind. And uh, let's talk about the instrument panel in here. It's got a, uh, got a gear position right in the center. Yeah, it's got the gear position in the uh, in the middle here. It's got the speedometer readout here, and uh, it's got the gas gauge over here. And uh, got the RPM clock down at the bottom from one to twelve. So that's pretty straightforward. It's got some uh, aftermarket levers and turn signals. Like I said, it's got a little windscreen over there. But this thing is a fucking monster, man. I don't see why anyone want a, a ZX-14 like that. <laughs> you know? This, the power in this thing is just fucking pushing me. Let's go, let's go. Fuck! Fuck! Holy fuck! I'm only in third gear and I'm crying like a bitch. <laughs> I'm only in third gear and I'm crying like a little bitch. Man, this thing is a fucking... It will destroy you in like seconds. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest for... Uh, until I get off the bike and do a walk around so I can show you guys but like I said man we're in April and I'm in Oakville I'm Oakville uh, Yamaha dealership did a demo on the SZ07 why I keep saying 9? I'm kind of stuck to the 9 because it got a bigger tank and the uh, my leg kind of wrap around the tank a, much, a bit better than this one I'm 6'4", 210 215 around there power is great comfort wise I feel like I'm looking down on the bike sitting over it because the key is all the way over there so I don't know I love the power I love everything about the bike except for the seat in position fuck yeah the seat I keep sliding back and forth on the seat though Yeah, 
keep sliding back and forth on the seat, so that's not a good thing. It's, uh, the gears are fucking rough. Like, whenever you change gears, it will just fucking yank into gear, like, like an old mechanical part or something. So, I don't know about that. Yeah, changing the gears, it's a bit rough. But I'm gonna cut this part of the video, guys, and uh, I'll do a quick walk around on the bike so you guys can see it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because like i said man this is uh it's only the beginning of what's there to come you know if you need to know anything about a motorcycle this is a channel you want to be on why or you want to subscribe to Two thousand fifteen fz09 had a couple uh market parts done to it you can see their foot bags Front and rear. It's got the levers, the hand grips, the aftermarket turn signals. It's got a uh, little screen windshield. Just test rode this thing. Just test ride this thing, and it's freaking amazing. And it's got a Prokovic, a Prokovic exhaust, full system, and this thing is a monster. Like, it's a freaking monster. I like the, the turn signal in the rear. They're pretty, they're pretty nice. And he said they're pretty bright too, so... I forgot to turn those on for you guys. To let you guys actually see it. But this thing... I have no complaints whatsoever for this bike. It's, uh... It's a really nice bike. 